Hello friends. In this video, we'll be discussing the questions that the Speedbot users have shared. So we'll just wait for one to two minutes. So for those of you who have just joined in, so we would like to mention that we have this Q&A session. So every day we host this Q&A session on that means on every Friday. So every Friday at 4.30, we have this session wherein we take up the questions from the users who would like to understand how the platform works. So I see a lot of users who have joined in. So for the ones who have just joined in, you can just type it in the chat box, the questions that you have. You can just mention whatever queries that you have and we'll be try to answer those questions. So we'll just wait for one to two minutes and then we can start off this Q&A session. So as you can see today, Nifty tanked a bit, somewhere around 1% and Bank Nifty almost 2% down. Once again, for the ones who have just joined in, you can type in your questions that you have in the chat box. So I'll be happy to answer them. And for those of you who have just joined, this is the Q&A session that we host on every Friday at 4.30 to understand how Speedbot works, what are the feedbacks that you have regarding the platform, any suggestions that you have, so we'll be happy to take them and improve your algo trading journey. So I think we're good to go. So let's start off today's Q&A session. So first up, let us understand the questions that we have got. So this is a question by Rohit. So Rohit asks that, I want to trade in the US markets. Is it possible? So Rohit, to answer your question, it is possible. So currently Speedbot supports the US markets integration. How you can do that? Let us understand that first. Let me just log out from my India based account. Let me click on the login button. So over here, you'll be able to see two options. That is you need to choose the USA market if you'd like to trade in the US markets. So I already have a demo account over here. So let me just sign in. So as you can see in the US market, you'll be able to create bots in the US stocks as well as on the US options. So once you go to the bots and over here, like I mentioned for the equity bot, you can come over here and select for the markets. So currently you can just select NSE or USA. So let's say that you'd like to trade in the US markets. So you will see the drop down of the US based stocks. Like this. Let's say if I would like to place a trade or create a bot in Apple, then I'll be able to create that like this and maybe Netflix my bad let me just add it over here so pretty difficult to remember the US symbols so you can add multiple symbols and get your conditions added so you will be able to create your trading bot in the US stocks so that is possible now let's move on to the option segment if you are an option trader trading in the US markets so over here, you can see the create your option bot button. Over here, let's say that US index options, if I may rename the bot. And these are the set of symbols that we support for the US index options. That is QQQ, SPY, SPX, and XSP. That is the SPX mini contracts. Let us take an example that I want to create an option bot for QQQ segment over here. Then I'll be able to add a leg and based on that, let's say if I'd like to trade only on the zero DTEs, then I'll be able to do that for the one DTEs. So over here, I have the multiple options. As you can see, I can set the target and the stop loss to mitigate the risk and book the profits likewise. 
So that's how I'll be able to create my option bot in the US markets. Now, which are the set of brokers that we support? You'll have a question. So over here, you can go to the menu option. Down here, you'll be seeing the broker, add new, and in the broker. So these are the set of brokers that we currently support. The interactive brokers, trade year. Then we have TD Emily trade, right? So these are the set of brokers that we support for the US markets. If you want to integrate your broker, you can just let us know and we'll be happy to help you out. So Rohit, I hope you understand how you can create your bots in the US markets using Speedbot, right? So let me just go back to the Indian version. Yeah, so let's move on to the next question. So the next question is from Jayesh. So Jayesh asks that, what is the pricing of Speedbot? Okay, so in order to understand what are things that you get for the subscription fees that you pay on Speedbot, let us understand that first. Let's say if you have a bot, if you have a trading logic, and you have converted into a trading bot on Speedbot. So you'll be able to backtest it on the historical data. You'll be able to deploy it live or forward test it. So these are the three usage of your bot that you can do while purchasing a subscription. So what are the charges? Let us understand that. You need to go to the menu. And currently we have two types of plan. One is the pay as you go plan and the other one is the monthly subscription plan. So in the pay as you go plan, you can add as many money as you like in your Speedbot wallet and automatically the charges will get deducted, right? And instead of going for the pay as you go plan, if you'd like to go for the flat fee, that means on the monthly basis, in that case, you pay a fee for a monthly subscription and you will be able to access all the services, all the capabilities based on that particular plan. So over here in the pay as you go plan, you'll be able to see that, let us say that if you'd like to backtest for a one month period, then three credits would be deducted. So over here, one credit is equal to one rupee. So this means that if I'd like to backtest my bot, on one month, on the past one month's data, then three rupees will be deducted from my Speedbot wallet. Likewise, for the live deployment and for the forward test deployment, that is per day, 15 rupees will be deducted over here and 10 rupees will be deducted for the forward test deployment. Now, instead of the pay as you go plan, if I would like to have the flat fee based plans, in that case, over here, you can see the different plans that starts from basic till the ultimate. <clears throat> so as we start from the basic plan, it starts from 353 rupees per month. If you are using the annual subscription, so you will get 16% off or else it is somewhere around 424 rupees. So you will get 100 backtest credits that you can use. One paper bot. That is the one forward test bot that you can do. If you would like to deploy your bot in your trading account, in that case, you can opt for the starter plan that is somewhere around 700 rupees per month. So likewise, based on your capabilities, you can access all these plans based on your needs. So I hope this answers your question about the pricing plan on Speedbot. Thank you, Jayesh, for asking this question. Let's move on to the next question. So what kind of data analytics does Speedbot provide? So this is a question asked by Sanjay. So Sanjay, to answer your question, let me just go to the bots that I've created and open any one of the bots. Backtest. Just a minute, let me just open up a bot that already has a report.
So this is the reporting, the kind of detailed reporting that you'll get on Speedbot for the back testing, for the live reporting. Let's say if I would have deployed a 55,000 rupees of capital for this particular bot. So as you can see that the duration for the bot is somewhere around one year. The positions, as you can see, around 300 positions that the bot has taken. The total profit is somewhere around 10% of the initial capital. So all the calculations are done automatically. You need not calculate any sort of thing from your end. Apart from that, maximum drawdown. 102 days, day average loss, day maximum minimum, you'll be able to see the positions. You need not document any sort of positions or orders from your side. All the orders are, that are taken by the bot are created in a beautiful tabular way like this. You can sort it out in the ascending and the descending order or on the entry and the exit prices, which were your stop loss orders, which were your entry orders, you'll be able to check it. Let me just go back over here and look at other statistics. I'll be able to assess how my bot has performed on daily as well as on monthly basis by checking out the PNL summary like this. Trade statistics, you'll be able to see the maximum drawdown. Um, I might have forgotten one Yeah, metric that is the maximum drawdown days. That is how much days it took to come out of the drawdown, maximum drawdown. So it took around 102 days. So as you can see somewhere over here, so this would be somewhere around 102 days that the bot took to get out of the drawdown. Apart from that, the CAGR and other annualized returns, I'll be able to check the win rate of the bot, how the bot has performed. So likewise, other advanced statistics, I'll be able to get it. So that is how I can get the reporting done for the bot that I have created. So I hope Sanjay, it answers your question. Let's move on to the next question. How to take entries and exits on the basis of the movement of the index or the underlying in options? This is a pretty good question. So this is asked by Raj. So Raj asks that uh, how to take the entries and the exits on the basis of the underlying in options bot. So to answer Raj's question, let us just do one thing. Let us just move back to the option bot builder. So let us take an example that we are trading the nifty symbol and we are adding an option leg. Now the entry time was at 920. The entry was to happen of the ATM call option that we have to buy at 920. But let's say if I say at 920, after 920, I want to wait for some time. That means I want to wait for some upside movement in the underlying. And once that movement happens, then I'll be buying the call option. So that is something which is possible on the basis of the underlying using the momentum feature. That is whenever I say that the nifty symbol moves by 50 points on the upside. So this means that the underlying points when it moves on the upside, then we'll be buying the call option. 
for the ATM strike. So this was for my entry. For the exit, I'll be doing exactly the same. That means if I want to exit the position by placing the stop loss on the basis of the underline, that means if there is a movement of 50 points, then I'll be able to exit the position whenever there is a movement of 50 points, right? So that's how I'll be able to enter and exit on the basis of the underline. So I hope this answers your question, Raj. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, another question we have for the options builder. So this question is asked by Shailesh. So Shailesh asks that I want to select contracts on the basis of the premium. How is it possible? So Shailesh, to answer your question, let me just remove all these things and add a fresh leg for you. So over here, I've added again the nifty leg. So once I click on the contract type drop down, then I'll be able to see the price. This basically means that the premium of the option contract that is being traded based on that, I'll be entering into the position. Let's suppose if I want to buy a call option that has the premium value that is currently trading at 500 rupees or nearby 500 rupees, then the bot will try to fire that order and execute it from their side. So that's how I'll be able to get this 500 rupee call option contract. So I hope this answers your question. Shailesh. Now, next question, it's from Vijay. So Vijay asks that uh, I have a strategy on trading view. Is it possible to integrate trading view with Speedbot? So Vijay, this is something which is possible from our side. So a few months back, we had launched this feature and it is active and running pretty good. As you can see that you'll be able to create your options bot as of now for whatever logic that you have kept on your trading view. And based on that, you'll be able to execute it right away. How you can do that? If you can see the trading view symbol down here, right? You can mention all these things by reading the description. That is, first of all, you need to add a bot name, trading view, let's say, Trading view sample bot. I'll just name it as. And once I need to click on the save and continue. And I'll just click on the save button so that the bot with the metric that I have mentioned is saved. Of course, I can edit the bot anytime. So I'll click on the edit strategy. Now I'll again click on this trading view icon. Now the pop-up gives me two options, whether I have a trading view indicator or a trading view strategy. So if you have an indicator that generates a signal and based on that, you'd like to fire the alert over here and execute it in your trading, in your trading account, then you can use the indicator option. Else, if you have a pine script strategy, on trading view that gives you the back testing on the data on trading view itself and using the same pine script strategy you'd like to create the signals and based on that execute the trades in your trading account then these two things are possible on speedboard so you can just go through this and understand all the things with the drop down you can copy the message like this, go to next, do all the configurations from your side, add the signal, click on save. Once you do that, then you will be able to see the successful connection by getting this speedbot icon integrated with the trading UI, right? So this means that your bot is 
configured and ready to run. So once you deploy this bot in your trading account, so it will automatically take the signals that are generated on trading view and throw those signals on Speedbot and execute the trades on the trading account. So I hope this answers your question. This was a pretty good question, by the way. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question is from Chirag. Okay, so this is a question for the equity traders. So Chirag asks that how to create algos in equity stocks. I am an equity trader and I want to understand how to do it. And what type of equity bots can I create? So let us just understand the question first. So Chirag is basically a equity trader and he would like to understand what all things he can do in the equity bot builder on Speedbot. So Chirag, to make you understand practically, if you go to the create equity bot, so over here, equity bot sample, I'll click whatever time frame that I would like to define based on that time frame, I can get the conditions checked. So maybe we'll take this and maybe one more question as the last few questions for today's session and maybe after that we'll call it a wrap. So let's say if you'd like to create an equity bot on a basket of stocks, in that case, you can find the indices. So let us say that uh, I click on the Nifty Bank index. So all the stocks that are currently in the Nifty Bank will be over here. And let's say if I'd like to create my own custom basket, that also I'll be able to do. Let's say TCS, then I say ITC, then I say Asian Paints, right? So this is a custom basket that I've created for myself. So Chirag, you might be having some other set of stocks in your mind. For that, you can add the basket likewise. Whether you'd like to go for the long or the short or the both. So for the positional bots, if you'd like to create a swing trading or positional bots, then you can only go for the long side. So let's keep it as that way. And based on any price action, that is if there is a breakout or breakdown based on that, I would like to buy the stock, then I'll be able to do that. Let's say if I say that the current market price of the stock, whenever it crosses above the previous high, high one candle ago. So the offset means that based referring to the current candle, how far away in the past would I like to go? So if I keep the offset value as one, it means that I'll be checking the high, I'll be checking this high of one candle ago, right? So I'll just click on the accept. So whenever there is a breakout of this, that is the current market price crosses above the previous high on the 15 minute candle. So if you remember, we have kept the candle time frame as 15 minutes. Then in that case, I'll be able to enter the long condition. Whatever stop loss or target I would like to place, I'll be able to do it from my side like this. So I've kept the target and stop loss in points. 5-5 five, five points, so this means a 1 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. Now once I click on the continue button, so we have multiple types of position sizing. It could be on quantity based, it could be on capital based, on capital percentage based or risk based. So just to keep things simpler, we take the quantity based, add the position value. 
by default keep it as market maybe intraday so we whatever conditions that are open so based on that the trades were created so i'll be able to exit the positions latest by 315 beyond that i do not want any sort of open positions now let me just redefine it and at morning maybe 920 i would like to get the all the entry conditions checked so whatever time frame that i'd like to define for the back testing i'll be able to do it and you can also save or back test and just save the bot once that is done you'll be able to create the deployment site like this let's say if i'd like to just forward test it so i can just click on the forward test button and click on continue for how much duration i would like to have the bot running maybe one week two week let's take an example of one week so in the portfolio section i'll be able to see the bot deployed in the forward testing segment like this i already have deployed one of the bots so this is the live reporting that you can see over here so this is an options bot as you can see these are the positions so for the last 3 days the bots has taken the position even today the bot took the position if i would like to go for the detailed statistics again i'll be able to check it from my side the total profit until now in 3 days of span after deducing the charges the annual rise return drawdown until now so this is a pretty short period to assess the bots performance but still if 6 months down the line if i would like to assess all these metrics then this will be here documented automatically so this is a pretty comprehensive algo platform that speedbot has developed so we'll be adding more components in the algo trading ecosystem to improve the traders journey right so i believe this calls for today's session so thank you for people who have joined in to today's session and we'll be joining again next friday at 4:30 until then thank you so much i hope to see you in the next video thank you so much